mess on Karen's podcast, and of course, this is Raw at the show, baby, on the O to WWE Evolution, and of course, Crown Jewel, and uh, and of course, this is another edition of the WWE shows, and we are back this week. How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day in this kind of chilly weather we are experiencing. At least here, it's kind of like in the middle, like it wants to be cold. Next day, it kind of wants to be in the summer. I don't know. We're kind of like in the fall. All right, so don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Hit it over there. Check out the latest video over here. And of course, check out all the stuff down below in the description below. And comment down below, what are you looking forward to a WWE Evolution? And of course, what are, what, what match are you most excited for? I kind of really, really hyping and looking forward to Ronda versus Nikki. Um, but so far, that's about it. Um, and of course, um, the battle world, the women's battle world. Um, and also, um, hopefully there will be some since we're going 91 footage like content this week. Um, and kind of lacking on that. Um, this week was, um, the week where, last week was kind of like the week everyone was kind of sick. So this week is kind of like recovering. So tomorrow, hopefully there is some new video up on there. I don't know what it will be yet. Um, just because I can't do 2K19 stuff yet. So, um, stay tuned for that though. It's coming very soon. Hopefully within the next few months anyways. Um, we will shall see though. We shall see. Um, but anyways, with further ado, this is Raw at the show. Let's get into it. I mean, before this camera dies and, um, before my memory card disowns me and wonders why you're still talking. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get into it. All right, let's get you on. Raw opens up with Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, Dolph Ziggler making their way to the ring. Ziggler starts with saying that they are the greatest three-man group in WWE history. McIntyre and Strowman back up his claims as they show a clip of them defeating the Shield last week. We see also see a clip of the frustrated Dean uh, Dean Ambrose at the end of last week's show. Ziggler and McIntyre talk about their upcoming matches against Ambrose and Ziggler. They get into a big of a bit of an argument about who will win WWE World Cup, but keep things civil. Reigns and Rollins come out and says Ambrose will be there when he is ready. And in the meantime, Rollins says he and McIntyre will have their match right now. And McIntyre agrees. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre WWE World Cup qualifying match. Ambrose comes out of the crowd to attack Ziggler. R Rollins ends up winning by count out. Uh, the show is walking backstage and Ambrose takes offense at being called a lunatic. He says he has his own match to worry about and walks off. Gotta love Dean Ambrose. Am I right? Okay, let's get to Okay. Um, Kane and the Undertaker deliver a promo from an undisclosed location. They say they are more than ready for DX at Crown Jewel. Nia Jax and Amaroon versus Tamina Soup, Snooka and Dana Brooke. Nia Jax and Amaroon won. Tamina attacks Nia after the match with a super kick. Then for some reason Amaroon joins in her and throwing Nia over the top rope. Moon tries to do the same to Tamina but they both end up tumbling over the top when Dana pushes them. So I guess they're trying to say that they're ready for so. women's world. Rumble! I'm just kidding. Um, you know. You know. Alright, let's get to on! After the break, Ronda Rousey has the ring to talk about the Bellas to betray her. Ronda is upset about being betrayed and just wants to know why. I think everyone knows why, but alright. Um, the Bellas don't wait long before coming out to respond. Nikki says everyone paid to see them. And she says they don't owe her an explanation because this is show business, not show friends. Nikki says it's, it makes her cringe to see Rousey at the forefront and calls her a loser. She says they are the ones who are responsible for the WWE women's evolution because they made the word diva mean something. Actually, that would be AJ Lee. So, just I love the Bella Twins, but come on, let's be real. Her and, of course, Paige. Can't forget her because Paige and AJ Lee shaped what the evolution is today. I'm just saying, if it wasn't for them and how, you know, not everyone is perfect, you know? It's okay to be a geek or it's okay to be 
extraordinary, you know? Alright, let's continue on. Alright, Rousey says she felt accepted um, when she first got to WWE, but now she realizes she was too idealistic and naive to see what the Bellas really are. She calls them do nothing Bellas who are stars for attention, who somehow succeeded with no talent. She says they use their men to get ahead and the crowd pops big and starts shouting yes. Rousey says she's going to destroy Nikki at Evolution. She makes the name Bella meaningless. The Bellas and Rousey argue over who has knocked down more doors for women, women in the business. Rousey brings up Cena and Nikki gets angry. They bring out a bunch of secret guards who Rousey takes out with ease. Nikki and Britt are nowhere to be found after the mayhem. Alright, Dean Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler, a WWE World Cup qualifying match. Rollins, Rollins runs down and stops McIntyre from interfering. Ambrose shoves him and gets back in the ring only to get nailed by Ziggler with a super kick to score the win. Ambrose and Rollins get into a shopping match on the stage and so Reigns comes out and gets between them. Corbin comes out with a mic and says that she will face Ziggler and McIntyre in Strowman tonight. Finn Balor uh, versus um, Jinder Mahal, Finn Balor won. Bobby Lashley versus Tyler Breeze. Bobby Lashley won. Trish Stratus and Lita heads to the ring after the break before Lita can say anything. Um, Alexa Bliss and Mickey James come out the stage. They pretend to know what Trish and Lita, Lita are thinking and do impressions of them. Lita and Trish make fun of them and challenge them to come to the ring, but Alexa and Mickey decide to walk away instead. Offensive Pain versus Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is wearing the Costa Doria. I can never say that, so I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Costume because he didn't have his regular gear. Corbin sits on the stage to watch the match. Corbin claps from the stage, but then the, the Maverick realizes it's not Angle other than the match, and just some random guy, Angle, appears on the stage and hits the Angle slam to Corbin. Yes. Alright, Natalia comes out after the break, but she says she didn't come alone. Bailey's music hits and she comes out, and followed by Sasha Banks. Natalia and Ro uh, Ruby Wright. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Logan comes in and breaks it up to call, uh, cause a disqualification in Star Ball with all six women. The Riot Squad gain the upper hand for a moment, but Sasha and Bailey eventually send them running. I think it was Nat uh, Natalia versus Ruby Riot. And I don't know why. I, every time I do a blog, it gets messed up because um, it wasn't even responding this time. And I thought I fixed everything, but I guess I didn't. So I'll have to go through and fix some stuff. So it's alright. Um, Elias is the ring at the wreck. He plays a nice little melody to get a pop from the crowd before he eventually gets them to return on him. And Paula Cruz eventually comes out to interrupt him. Elias says he heard Cruz was talented but has yet to see it. And he sneaks. Um, and the Philly Flyers and Salty get some heat. Paula Cruz uh, says he has held himself back for too long while people has passed him out, including Elias. The singer tries to go after him, but Paula hits the cake and loosens him up to a gorilla press, holding him there for a long time before dropping him on the face. The Shield vs. Strowman, McIntyre, and Ziggler. The Shield won. It looks like Ambrose and the Shield are already back on good terms after he almost hit South with the 30 Ds during the match. The Shield leave to celebrate while Strowman gets in the ring to deal with his teammates. He grabs Ziggler and yells at him before hitting the, the power slam. Um, McIntyre takes out Strowman with another Claymore kick. McIntyre leaves his partner and Strowman in the ring to end the show. Rating 80 out of 80. Awesome show. It matches as we look to WWE Evolution and WWE Crown Jewel. And that's all I have you guys today for Raw after show. Go check out the latest vlog. I always edit when I do the after shows. It's how I usually do most of my stuff. If I can, usually I try to do it when I do the vlog. But sometimes I miss things. It always happens. So anyways, our technology issues. I had a lot of issues when I did Raw. Um, so um, it's probably why some of the areas are where it's at. Because I didn't, probably didn't notice. Um, but anyways, I will fix that and everything will be all good. So check out the link down below and check out all the stuff down below as always. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Hit it over there. Check out the latest video over here. Check out the eye for what Karen loves and Sister Gecko. Oh my God, Sister Gecko 91. Can we speak today? Um, hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and I'll see you guys soon for SmackDown Live as show and of course WWE Evolution prediction because that's coming up ever soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys soon on the flip side. Bye.